Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Post to Post. My name is Neil, and today we are reacting to Jersey Concepts. Not ranking them, reacting to them. When I started to do this series on the channel back, uh, I guess it was roughly a year ago actually, I started off with ranking, and then we did some reaction videos, and you guys really, really like those, but you always still ask for the ranking. So, and then I went back to rankings and that kind of stopped the reaction stuff. But today, this video, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it, you know, like from now on, um, but I'm going to react to these jerseys for the first time, same as you. We're gonna see these jerseys for, jerseys for the first time, you and me. Uh, and then I'm gonna give you my top five or top six at the end. So there's gonna be a, a little cut at the end of the video where I'm gonna actually gonna spend some time and to uh, rank them, or at least do the top five or top six and then tell you them. So maybe a little bit of both both worlds and let me know if you prefer this format versus the actual just straight up ranking video. Now these concepts are done by Lionel. He sent these in roughly eight months ago and I did look at one of them to vet it to make sure it was okay, but I honestly, I have no idea which one it was. I just know that it looked good and I would be okay with going through the rest of them and, and looking at them. So uh, Lionel, I appreciate it. If you wanna list your social media links down below uh, so people can check out more of your work, that would be awesome. Now, if you guys want to create some of these concepts of your own, go to sportstemplates.net and you can use code post to post to save yourself 10% on that website and you can get jersey templates and hoodies and footballs and baseballs and hockey pucks and goalie helmets and hockey sweaters and full uniforms. There's all kinds of, of templates on sportstemplates.net and I would love for you guys to go check it out if you're thinking about maybe how you would design some of the jerseys in your head and you, you finally want to put it down on digital paper, that would be cool. I would love to see your designs. So if you want to design 31 or 32, get that template and send them in. That'd be great. I would definitely review them or rank them or react to them, whatever you want to uh, see from me. So do it and save yourself 10%. Use code post to post. Okay, let's get into this. I'm going to bring up these photos. I've got one image that's hidden here uh, so I don't get spoiled. Okay, let's go on to the first one. And these are in, uh, let me see, yeah, these are in alphabetical order. So, okay, we're start off with alphabetical order as far as abbreviation. I need to get set. This is serious. This is serious business, okay? We're, this is a full reaction video. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Rankings are fun, but reactions are awesome. Okay, let's go to Anaheim. Oh, okay. I've, I've never seen an Anaheim concept like this. This is quite interesting. I noticed a little bit of a mistake in the actual logo itself in the negative space of the A. You actually didn't, uh, Lionel, you didn't remove the, the white from the inside there, unless that was intentional, but it looks like it was possibly a mistake. Also, the shoulder patch logos aren't at the right angle. But as far as the jersey itself, it, very interesting. The decision to have a collar black, but that, but this section here around the logo or the laces to be that uh, gold color or br brownish gold color with black laces, I actually don't mind that not too much. That's that's not too bad. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that that brown stripe, brownish gold on the arms. I think it's okay in the bottom of the jersey, but I'm not sure about the arms. I'm, I'm feeling like maybe that should have been an orange stripe instead. And the shoulders being yellow, those shoulder yokes. Very interesting. I'm not sure about this one. This one's, I don't know, this one's tricky. This is exciting. This is exciting. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next one. Arizona. Oh, again with the shoulder yokes. Okay. This one's pretty decent. I, th I find the numbers on the arms uh, a little hard to read because that, that specific green is a, is a little dark. So I'm thinking maybe that should be that uh, off-white color that's being utilized in the shoulders and the striping and the logo itself instead of the green. But overall, not too bad. I actually, I actually don't mind this one. This one's, this one's pretty decent. Next up, Boston. Okay, he's keeping it simple. That was smart, Lionel. Keeping it simple with Boston. The brown, however, it pr isn't for me personally. I, I don't really like Boston concepts using brown. So this would, I think, overall be a bit of a pass for me. But I think you're on the right track. With a few tweaks, this could be this could be awesome. Buffalo, man, again with the shoulder yokes. Lionel's going ham on these shoulder yokes. Uh, okay, so I noticed one thing that that is re really distracting to me right away: the left shoulder, our right shoulder patch that we're looking at, uh, is is inverse or it's mirrored, and I think that's okay to do with some logos. But whereas that secondary logo that Buffalo uses is an actual letter. 
uh, mirroring it horizontally like that, it, you can't take a B and, and turn it around. It just it kind of ruins the the intention of the logo. It being a B, it it makes it look like a stylized eight, which doesn't really make sense for Buffalo. So uh, I would keep I would mirror back horizontally that other that logo and have both of the Bs just be Bs on there. I don't think it needs to be uh, mirrored. But otherwise, I th- mm, not too bad. Maybe a five out of ten for me, something like that. The yellow is the wrong shade for Buffalo, though. Uh, anyways, moving on. Carolina. Ooh. Man, the shoulder yokes. I, I, I'm going to have to stop mentioning them, mentioning them because they're becoming so prominent here. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but y- you guys know I'm not really a, a fan of shoulder yokes. So this one's tricky. I think I prefer, uh, I definitely prefer the current alternate that uses that logo versus this one. Uh, a little bit too much gray for me. Columbus. Hmm. Yeah, you see, you didn't you didn't mirror the flag horizontally because that would look uh, silly. And so you made the, you made the right decision here that that flag being that orientation, although it's not symmetrical with the other um, side, it, it makes sense because it's a flag. This one's pretty good. I actually like this one. I don't mind the shoulders being white. It uh, it reminds me a little bit of the new Washington Capitals alternate jersey, and I believe Lionel made these back in like August or something. So. It's kind of cool to see this and then look at the new uh, Washington alternate. But, uh, yeah, I, I actually like this one. Good job, Lionel. Calgary. Hmm. Blast these up there on the shoulders. Uh, I, I find, the, I find the, the shoulder yokes really distracting here. Um, and also the wrong shade of yellow, possibly. This one, uh, this one's not working for me, Lionel. Uh, Chicago. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is really interesting. Having a Chicago Blackhawks a concept in black as a primary color is not uncommon. However, Lionel using the blue from the city flag as the secondary color is, I don't think, something I've seen before. That's really cool. I, I like that a lot, but you still get the splashy red in there on the shoulder patches and also the outline and the numbers, which is cool. So you also get that blue from the logo as well in one of those feathers and the red. To me, this has really good balance, and it's not it's not symmetrical because the shoulder patches are different, but the shoulder, both shoulder patches are, are really applicable to the team, and uh, although it's not symmetrical, I, I think it kind of works. I actually really like this one. It's just it's just totally different. I've never seen something quite like this before, so I would give this one a thumbs up. Colorado. Ooh, that secondary design shoulder patch that was that's a little bit different, okay, but still matches the same stylization as the Colorado State flag. That that's actually pretty cool. I I like that. I'm um, I don't know if burgundy is the right uh, choice here as the as the primary color, with the gray uh, neckline because there's no gray anywhere else other than the stroke of the numbers and the outside of the uh, logo itself. Hmm, I'm thinking that neck area might need to be white. Not bad, maybe like a six out of ten. Dallas. Whew. Dallas. He's using the swatch here to hold the numbers. I do like that. Uh, it seems it seems a little bit busy. Maybe I don't know if it's the striping on the arms or the bottom or then it's then the shoulder switch. Uh, I'm not sure. This one this one's a little bit too busy for me. I might give this one like a four out of ten. Detroit. Ah yes, here's a clean jersey with no shoulder yokes. But you've inversed the Detroit Red Wings logo on the shoulder. I think that's probably a bit of a no-no. Um, also, something to note here: I've noticed on a couple of the primary logos that you're using on the front of the jersey, you're keeping the registration or the registered mark on there, the TM, the uh, whatever the other ones are. I can't even remember uh, the trademark, basically little tag. You'll never see those on the front of a of a jersey, so you can just for future reference, you can erase those off. Uh, not too bad. I'm curious to see what Detroit Red Wings fans feel about this one. Uh, I don't mind it. That is a that is a big black D right there, right in the middle. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Edmonton Oilers. Oh, is that the right orange? It almost looks like a bit of a blood orange or something. Huh. Uh, I'm in my real life, in my regular life. I work as a graphic designer and stuff. And for some of the projects that we use and, and, and or project, products that we sell, I have to create ads and, uh, I don't know, just, you know, like marketing campaigns and stuff. And we use, for one of them, we use a very specific uh, orange, and it's called Blood Orange. It's DC1001C, I think is the hexadecimal code. 
And this looks very close to that color. I know that is not applicable to like anyone out there except for me, but it's just in my brain and I had to had to go through the process here. I think this is a little bit more orange though than the, the, the color that I'm thinking of, but I don't know if it's the exact orange that that uh, Edmonton uses. It looks, it's got definitely got some red in there. I kind of like that. I, I like that. I don't, I don't like the shoulders. I like the shoulder patches and it's okay that they're mirrored horizontally. I'm, I'm, that's, that works for me. That's a logo that you can do that with. But if the shoulders were blue for the rest of the jersey, this one is this one's got a lot of potential. Florida. Oh, okay. Nice. He kept the the patch that was on the arm in the current jerseys, but he put it on the shoulder. It looks good there on the white shoulders. A little bit of reverse retro vibes as well. I I like this. This one this one works for me. Uh, L.A. Okay, so going back in history a little bit. Uh, I like the purple. I mean, you know, I'm wearing purple. Uh, this 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 works for me. It's it's not my favorite that I've seen, but it works. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't change anything drastically about this. The, the numbers worry me a little bit, being that gray color. I feel like they blend in too much with the white stroke or something. You might have to make the numbers. Hmm, how would you do this? I think you'd have to make the numbers white and the stroke to be black, possibly. I think that's my what you might have to do. Next up, Minnesota. Ooh, this is very close to the Stadium Series Reebok jersey that Minnesota used, but with a different logo on the front and different shoulder patches. Uh, I, I, I actually really like this a lot. I don't know if I like the shoulder patches themselves specifically, but I really like the logo that was chosen for the middle here. And uh, you, you, if, you, if you know me, if you follow the channel, you guys know that I'm a big fan of that, uh, of that jersey. Actually, just a second. This jersey, had to go get it. It reminds me a lot of of this jersey, which is which is a good thing. It's uh it's one of my favorite jerseys, so I'm I'm okay with that, Lionel. I, I like the decisions here. I'm not sure about that shoulder patch though. All right, next up, Montreal, my favorite team. Ooh, love those laces. Absolutely love those laces. Uh, the provincial flag of Quebec, and I believe that's the city flag of Montreal. Not too bad. I've definitely seen better Montreal Canadiens concepts. I'm not sole on the white shoulders, but I like the white in the collar in the front of the neck here, or the front of the collar, and the different colored uh, laces. That is, to me, that's the best part of, of the jersey. I really like that. New Jersey is next. Ooh, very clean, very subtle New Jersey Devils jersey here. Hmm. Okay, I think this is maybe just like a kind of like an average jersey maybe a 5 out of 10 Nashville the neck is the neck is quite distracting to me I'm not sure if I like the how yellow that neck is love the shoulder patch love that you're using blue as the primary color here for Nashville that that's awesome really like the numbers the striping is fine um, yeah don't like the neck though uh, New York Islanders okay so this is basically their alternate now uh, but with the fishermen <laughs> patch on the, on the shoulders, which is which is cool. I'm fine with that. I've never been a huge fan of this jersey specifically, though, mostly to do, to do with that main logo or that primary logo. New York Rangers. Liberty jersey. So a little bit of uh, foresight here from Lionel because he made these in August, and and uh, the Rangers came back with with, a, with later Lady Liberty. Shoulders are different, like the laces, but... Uh, not too bad. I think I would change the shoulders. I don't think it looks good with the gray shoulders up there. I think I'd l like to see the blue extend all the way up. But I like your striping better than the actual reverse retro, so good job there. Ottawa Senators. Ooh. Classic. Some classic vibes in here. Some old school. Some. I see, I see the current Ottawa Senators jersey, but kind of remixed with the Heritage Classic in Reebok from, from a while ago. Uh, wow. Wow. I actually really like this. This is, yeah, this is cool. I, I like this a lot. This would be a very good complimentary fourth jersey for the Ottawa Senators this year. You got the black one, you got the white one, you got the red one, the reverse retro, and then you got this almost heritage classic looking one, which matches the brand almost perfectly with their current jerseys. That, that's really cool. I, I like this one a lot. Philadelphia Flyers. Ooh, this one's going to be a miss for me right away. Uh, the logo in the front is is a miss. I don't. That looks to me more like a shoulder patch than it does a primary logo. I like to see that on the shoulders. So if we could swap those, I think I'd probably like this better. Also, that's the wrong orange as well. Uh, Pittsburgh. 
What? This is amazing. I, I, <laughs> there is so much going on here. I know there's going to be a lot of people that look at this and think, are you crazy, Neil? Like, what the heck are you talking about? But this is awesome. I really like this. You got that classic early 90s logo that I, I love. I'm a big fan of that. It's replicated again there on the shoulders. I like the shoulder yokes on this one. The sleeves are, are representative of kind of what they use now, so that makes sense. The blue makes sense because it's one of their original primary colors uh, when the team first entered the league. Man, there's lots going on here. Black, gold, white, some gray, blue, and gradients. <laughs> This jersey basically has everything except for texture. Wow. This is interesting. I actually really like this. I think I'm going to be in the minority here, but I, I genuinely really like this. Uh, next up, Seattle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Most Seattle concepts that we see uh, are white with blue as a secondary color or blue with white as a secondary color. A little bit of red in there because that's one of their colors. Um, not so much green and not so much black. So it's very interesting to see this concept. Not too bad. I think I think it's maybe a little bit. Hmm, I think it's a too busy. I think it's too busy. Maybe too much coloring going on. There's it. It doesn't have great balance because I to me the green and the red fight for attention a little bit. Uh, with the the neck, the striping, and the bottom stripe all fighting for attention with the logo in the middle. So uh, I'm not sure. It's not bad. San Jose. Okay. Very simple San Jose jersey. I've seen your very, um, what's the word? Consistent with your with your arm striping and the bottom striping in your jerseys. You haven't really changed that too much. Not that that's a bad thing or a good thing. I've just noticed it. A lot of consistency throughout your uh, set here. Uh, the shoulder patch is great. And um, I think the black striping on the arms is a little bit too thick. San Jose, I don't, I don't know if that works on a San Jose jersey to, for me. I'm just so used to seeing things differently, so I'll probably give this one like a 4 out of 10, maybe something like that. Uh, St. Louis. Hmm. St. Louis. The the white numbers with the yellow stroke are a bit hard to see. I think, um, I don't know if the numbers would be able to have a stroke on this jersey. They might just have to be white. Same striping as well as, as the previous jersey. This one's probably going to be a miss for me. The, the yellow looks to be a wrong shade as well. I'll probably give this one like a 3 or a 4 out of 10. Tampa Bay Lightning. Okay. So we're getting away from the blue. New striping, which has been the same striping so far. Uh, shoulder patch logo is, is fine. I like the, the logo that you chose for the primary one. That's nice to see something new. I don't know if this works in gray as the primary, though. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to come back to this one. This one's going to be interesting as my ranking. Uh, the Maple Leafs. Ooh. See, the gray here, I actually don't mind. I think the gray works here. And you've 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 gone with the yolks again. And you've gone down into the neck with the same color. That's where it works for me. I like when jerseys do that. If you, if you mix up the color here and it's just kind of these yolks, often they're on their own, their own color, it, uh, it loses me a little bit. I'd like to see some connection here. You've done that, which is great. You've changed the numbers, so there's no, you've basically removed all the fill from the numbers and you're just going with the stroke and the numbers. I think that looks pretty good, actually. I like that. Um, maybe the striping on the arms and the bottom is, is too thick, though. Vancouver. Ooh, okay, so I've seen a couple of concepts like this in the past. Again, with the shoulder yokes, you got, man, you love the shoulder yokes, uh, Lionel. That's my not my personal preference, so I probably like these less than, than most people, just for my personal preference. But, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I've seen better versions of this specific one, although that shoulder patch looks pretty good up there. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights. Hmm. A little bit risky using that muddy gold color in there, although if you meant for this to have that textured shine to it, uh, then this is basically their alternate jersey in a way. Don't mind the shoulders here. Don't mind the, the, the red collar that... Uh, matches quite well with the shoulder patch and the logo, but there's no red from basically the nips down other than the logo. So I might want to see a red stripe at the bottom of the sleeves maybe or, or on the arms. Uh, Winnipeg. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's perfect. Wouldn't change anything about it. Maybe the collar. That was uh, 
if that was white and the backing here was was red possibly i really like this this is probably the best one i've seen so far did i say breast i meant to say best and if i said breast i apologize <laughs> this is the breast one so far i really like it uh washington Ooh. interesting okay i like i like going back to the 90s colors that's in the early 2000s colors that's that's actually pretty cool but I don't know if it works in this combination with that logo, that that striping, and those shoulders. The patch works, but not the shoulders themselves. And not a black jersey, but more like a charcoal or heathered gray kind of uh, jersey. Not sure on this one, Lyle. And that was the last one. Okay, I'm going to take a little break here, and I need to rank these and come up with my top five or six. All right, I got my ranking. I said top six earlier, and it ended up being top six because I know myself. And I know how notoriously bad I am for doing a top five. I, I can never make a decision on that five that five mark. I always have this sixth one just looming. So top six, here we go. In sixth position, I have put the Chicago Blackhawks. I really like the uniqueness of this one. Black is the primary color, which I love to see them do. But then using that blue as the secondary color, I like that decision. I guess technically there's more white on this one, but having that much blue in there it was a really good decision. Um, good job, Lionel. Next, Florida. This one really grew at me the more I looked at it. Uh, the numbers could use some work, I think, but overall, I really like this uh, jersey. It reminds me a lot of the reverse retro and a bit of their uh, home jersey as well. Number four, Minnesota. So I showed the jersey earlier. I'm a big fan of it. This is basically that jersey redone a little bit with a new logo in the front, which is cool. Beautiful logo. Good decisions here, Lionel. Number three, Ottawa. Like I said, it classic heritage would match perfectly with their current brand um this was this was done very very well number two the pittsburgh penguins yeah i definitely put this one in my top five it is just so different and it's got that logo that i love on there um i really like this one a lot it is i would love to see this in adidas please do it pittsburgh and number one winnipeg winnipeg generally gets ranked quite high in my list not because i'm a winnipeg jets fan i'm actually not really at all but I like their brand. I like their colors. I like their logo, logo and, and the marketing assets that they can use to come up with, with their stuff. Also, I love aviation. The team's called the Jets. So that's implemented in a lot of their logos and, and uh, artwork as well. So I'm a big fan of this one. I, I probably wouldn't change really anything about it other than the middle collar, which I think I said earlier. But uh, yeah, that's my number one. So thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this style more, if you like the reaction style more, Seeing a jersey for the first time, both of us, not just you, but me as well, seeing it for the first time, picking it apart, passing some judgments, saying the things we like, saying the things we don't like, and then coming up with a ranking at the end. If you like this process more than just a strict ranking, please let me know. I'd be very curious. I want to make content that you guys want to see or prefer to see. Uh, either way, I get to look at jersey concepts, so the delivery doesn't really matter to me. It's whatever you guys prefer. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being part of this community. If you want to get your hands on this uh, template, go to sportstemplates.net, use code post to post and then, uh, yeah, come up with some designs. Send them my way. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.